Cowboys are on a roll in September with Tatum Bell running wild and all-world receiver Rashawn Woods catching everything in sight. The SMU Mustangs are looking for their first win of the young season. Senior running back Keelan Kincaid is the main horse for the Ponies. Oklahoma State faces SMU next on Fox Sports Net. It's back on campus for the SMU Mustangs after a rugged start on the road, including a couple of losses to Big 12 teams. The tour of the Big 12 continues. Welcome to Ford Stadium on the campus of Southern Methodist University as it is the SMU Mustangs at 0-2 to take on the Big 12's Oklahoma State Cowboys who come in with a record of 2-1. Hi everyone, I'm Bill Land along with Gary Reasons. Glad to have you aboard. A huge challenge ahead of SMU going against this OSU team that's only loss is to unbeaten Nebraska. When you take a look at Oklahoma State, Gary, they're a ball club that's got a lot of offensive weapons, and lately it's been Tatum Bell who's been outshining their superstar wide receiver, Rashawn Woods. Not that he's off to a bad start. Not to a bad start at all for Rashawn Woods, but Tatum Bell has taken the offense by storm, running the ball very well. He's sixth in the nation, Bill, in rushing over 148 yards a game, and Rashawn Woods, he catches every ball in sight. He's an exciting player. For this SMU team, after losses to Texas Tech and Baylor, the big concern is really offense. Defensively, Coach Phil Bennett's pretty happy so far, and part of the reason they got a young football team, but they're getting great senior leadership. When you talk about that, you go to linebacker Brian Bischoff, and also in the secondary, Jonas Rutledge. Well, those two players have to play well exceptionally tonight because they've got a big task at hand. Stopping Jonas Rutledge has to handle Rashawn Woods in the secondary. Brian Bischoff, take a look at Tatum Bell. Those two have to be key. They've got to spur that defense for the Mustangs tonight. All right, now the third member of our party here, and it will be fun tonight with a big crowd on hand. We've got John Radigan down on the sidelines with more about SMU and where's the offense coming from, John? Yeah, Bill and Gary, you guys remember the old 70s TV show, Eight is Enough? Well, clearly for the SMU Mustangs, eight isn't, or maybe I should say eight ain't enough. They've averaged eight and a half points a game in those first two losses that you have already talked about. Eight points, just simply not enough. They need the big play, and they need it to come from Richard Bartell. He's completed only 47% of his pass this year, completed 60% of them last year, and the longest play that the Mustangs have gotten from scrimmage this year is a 30-yard play. That was a pass from Bartell to the tailback, Keelan Kincaid. They need the big plays out of Bartell because clearly eight ain't enough. Guys, back up to you. All right, stay with us. It'll be fun here tonight as SMU and Oklahoma State, huge crowd on hand, a lot of them from the Oklahoma State side. There'll be a lot of orange here as well. The Ponies and the Cowboys coming up straight ahead on Fox Sports Net. Welcome back to Ford Stadium on the campus of SMU. College football with Bill Land along with Gary Reasons and John Radigan. Les Miles, the head coach for the Oklahoma State Cowboys, above 500 after winning their last two, including a pounding of Southwest Missouri State last week. He's now 14 and 13, last year Big 12 Coach of the Year. And Phil Bennett knows all about the Big 12. His second year as head coach here at SMU at 3 and 11. After a 3 and 9 campaign in his initial year, he came here from Kansas State where he was a defensive coordinator under Bill Snyder. He also been the defensive coordinator at Texas A&M. And he's been at Iowa State. He's been around and he is a homegrown Texan, though, and a guy who's excited about the future here, Gary. No doubt about it. He's got a lot of pedigree under his belt as a football coach. and. And Phil Bennett is someone who feels like he can get this program turned around and headed in the right direction, much like Les Miles has done at Oklahoma State. And SMU will be kicking it off here this evening. Warm evening. Many fans still coming into Ford Stadium as the Cowboys on the kick return. Robert Jones is back. And kicking it off for SMU will be McMurtry. There is Morrency is also back for Oklahoma State University. The kick to the near side, and the Cowboys will bring it out. And hit hard inside the 15-yard line as SMU brought the house, and Morrency is brought down. Jeremy Harper. That'll bring out Josh Fields, the junior quarterback from Stillwater at 6'1", 215 pounds. And Fields 
Two touchdowns to five INTs. That won't get it. I'll tell you what, he has been getting knocked around a lot of this year as people have really been putting the pressure on in the offensive line. A couple of new guys that are starting to get it as things were improving quickly there. Mays is one of the veterans and in the backfield. Tatum Bell, sixth leading rusher in the nation, is the highlight along with Sean Woods at the wideout. His brother, Dewan Woods, also off to a good start. Bell, a Texan, hammered at the 15-yard line. On the opening play from scrimmage, Tatum from DeSoto. And he is stopped by Rico Harris, the strong safety for SMU. Here's the SMU defensive group with Williams, Bonds, Adami, and Jeremia Stansberry. The linebackers, we talked a little bit about Bischoff, Lee, and D.D. Johnson. Johnson, the leading tackler against Baylor with 11. Rutledge, Harris, and Nabufi in the secondary along with Moodley. Second down and eight, fields to throw it, and it is complete. And outside the 17, where Lee makes the tackle on Morency. Bill, Oklahoma State's offense is predicated on running the football, and that sets up a play-action passing game and a quick pass sc screen pass that they like to work to the outside. They'll throw that screen pass to their tailback, to their wide receivers, to a lot of different players on the field. They'll even throw to the tight end, get that screen pass working outside. They're not afraid to work the perimeter of the field. Third down and five, ball on the 18 for Oklahoma State. Bell in the backfield and fields. Complete to Woods, and Rashawn Woods gang tackled at the 26-yard line. Nabufi led the way from the free safety position. That'll move the chains, and although SMU can't be happy about giving up the first down, nice job of knowing where Woods is and wrapping up because he is capable of breaking tackles. Well, that's exactly right. The one thing that the defense for the Mustangs do not want to do tonight is allow big plays, and they're going to play a little bit off of Rashawn Woods, give him a little bit of room to work smartly there for the Cowboys. They took it inside on the quick slant on the first down. First and 10 for the 26-yard line. Johnson, the tight end on the right side. And Woods, pump faking. Incomplete. Fields intended for Woods and Rutledge covering on the play. Rutledge, big responsibility tonight. Yeah, we talked about Jonas Rutledge at the beginning of the ball game, and he's going to go against Rashawn Woods a lot of the times on the near side of the field as you watch this game tonight. Excellent receiver, Rashawn Woods. He does has great separation ability, and Jonas Rutledge, the cornerback, the senior, has to have some big plays tonight, break up a few, and, and give uh, – Rashawn Woods difficulty catching that football. Second and 10, ball at the 26 for OSU, opening possession. Fields completes it to Lindsey, and he has run out of bounds near the 32-yard line. D.D. Johnson coming in with 16 tackles overall, 11 in the Baylor contest. He is from Terrell, Texas. Yeah, another slip screen out to Gabe Lindsay. We saw him a couple weeks ago, Bill, use that play and use it well. And make huge plays for the Cowboys offense. You see Josh Fields throwing the ball very sharp here in this first series for the Cowboys. Well, we mentioned the defense of SMU as total defense. They're second in the whack, allowing 309 yards. 101 on the ground, 208 in the air. Third and fourth, the 32 out of the shotgun is Fields. Rashawn Woods. And Woods appears to have the first down past the 37 tackle by Johnson. Well, that's just not a fair matchup that time. D.D. Johnson, the linebacker, trying to cover Rashawn Woods, one of the best receivers in the country. Number 38, the Will linebacker, the weak side linebacker. Just by formation, what they did was they put Tatum Bell on the outside, all the way to the near sideline, and allowed Woods to have that one-on-one -on -one matchup on a linebacker. And Woods. 17 receptions for 270 yards coming in. Gets his second tonight. First and 10 at the 38, Oklahoma State. Johnson, the man in motion, resets. Gets some contact at the line. And Bell breaks the tackle, 40. And is brought down. They haven't done that early. First and five of the 43 after the penalty. Play action in fields. missing. Rutledge was covering. Don't know if it caught the finger.
Rutgers. If not, he could just about touch it. Well, we've seen that time and time again from this young quarterback throwing the ball up. Josh Fields to Rashawn Woods, and somehow, miraculously, Rashawn usually comes down with that football. This ball was thrown well, way downfield, and Jonas Rutledge had excellent coverage on it. Trail covers the ball just off the tips of uh, fingertips of Rashawn Woods. Woods uh, tied the school record with his 29th career TD last week against Southwest Missouri State. Now look at the arch on that football. Throws it up the big rainbow, hoping his big wide receiver can come down with it. Second down and five, ball at the 43. Tatum Bell. Bell at the 50, Bell at the 40. Bell caught from behind. Inside the 30 of SMU, and there is a flag on the play way back at the 41 of Oklahoma State. Wow, a huge running play for the offense for the Cowboys. Looked like going to be a big gainer, but it's coming back. At the point of attack, some good block in the spring. Tatum Bell around the corner. Holding. Oklahoma State in bad situations offensively here at second and 15. From the 33, Fields again to throw. Has great protection. Wants to go deep again, and is dropped. Oh, my. Well, he's one-on-one -on -one with Jonas Rutledge, and Josh Fields couldn't throw the ball any further. I tell you, that ball laid out there about 55, 60 yards in the air. The ball on Rashawn Woods' hands. Normally, he's going to come down with that. Rutledge saying, hey, they're going to run me a track meet up and down this field with Rashawn Woods. Look at the throw here over the top. And it's going to be right on the money. There was a little bit of contact midway there as it was Rashawn Woods kind of kicks out, and no flag by the official, but excellent throw by Josh Fields. Now, Rutledge, a first-team all conference Conference pick from the WAC. He's broken up four passes this year coming in, and he certainly is a big challenge. So far, he's survived it. You won't see Woods drop passes very often, though. Third and 15 from the 33, and Fields again to throw it. Incomplete at the 45 yard line, and flags are thrown there. Conversions. It's third and 15 from their 33. strategy do you we're gonna go with Rashawn Woods deep 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 and they're going at Jonas Rutledge Jonas Rutledge's gonna get some oxygen on the sideline the young man just trailing the receivers and doing a good job he's in a trail technique he's behind again Josh Fields throws it up as far as he can and you see uh, the coverage there Rashawn Woods has his ball in his hands uncharacteristic now twice that Rashawn Woods has dropped a big play Cole Farden comes on for the punt junior from Grapevine Texas gets a great roll down near the 20 yard line Matt Rushbrook out of El Paso, Texas, 5'10", 185, a 50-yard punt and a four-yard return. And an excellent defensive stand by the Mustangs to start this football game. Yeah, overcoming uh, a couple of first downs. Oklahoma State look like they're getting some rhythm. And uh, the Mustangs to the challenge so far. First and 10, ball on the 20-yard line here for SMU. We'll take a look at quarterback Richard Bartel, a sophomore from Grapevine. 6'5", 215, he leads his club. Has completed 48% of his passes for 301 yards. Intercepted Williams. Williams at the five. And Oklahoma State knocked out of bounds around the three-yard line. Darren Williams comes up for the interception. He had one last week against the Bears of Southwest Missouri, and just like that, whatever momentum the Ponies had has been reversed. No doubt about it. Richard Bartell just trying to throw the quick slant pattern outside to Matt Rushbrook, and Darren Williams on the corner does a good job of breaking up, knocks the ball in the air, and comes down with the interception, and then the run down the sideline for the score. 19-yard return, and sets it up at the three. And the Cowboys will operate there. As they said, he stepped out on the three-yard line. He did get out of bounds. So they're going to bring the, uh, yeah. the Cowboy offense back on the field. So first and goal from the three. Fields hands off. And right up the middle, Willis. No signal yet. 
Cowboys won it. Yeah, the line judge is about at the half yard line on the near sideline, so stop of his momentum. This is where the big guys come into play, the big offensive line for Oklahoma State trying to make something happen. Defensive lineman so far this season. Oklahoma State. And flag is thrown. It's SMU clapping as somebody jumped on that cowboy line. False start. So, second and goal from the six. Surges forward, back down to inside the two by Willis. Yeah, Sean Willis, the down, the short yardage tailback in the football game for him. They're going to give it to him. He's got the power, the body lean, the big fullback inside. Now you got your whole uh, arsenal of weapons here with Josh Fields. I wouldn't be surprised to see him roll the pocket a little bit and try to find one of his receivers outside. Good receiver at the tight end position for, uh, for Oklahoma State and Badgema and also Charlie Johnson. They've thrown the ball to him as well this season. Third and goal from the two. Fields throws it up for Woods. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. When you go jump ball to Rashawn Woods, you're going to get six in this case. And Woods gets his third score of the year. The Cowboys take a 6-0 lead. The career lead in touchdown receptions, passing Hartley Dykes, who he was tied with coming in here, his 30th of the career. And that'll bring on Luke Phillips for the point after. He is 12 of 12 so far this season. Ryland is holding. Good snap, and the kick is also good. And Oklahoma State, thanks to an interception from Williams, gets the TD and leads it seven to nothing. Welcome back to Ford Stadium with Oklahoma State jumping out to a seven nothing lead in an action-packed opening in four minutes and 50 seconds. Bill Land, Gary Reasons, John Radigan with you here on Fox Sports Net. And Oklahoma State will have Farden to kick it off. Rutledge is the deep man for SMU. Rushbrook is on the far side. And on the near side is number 83 for the Ponies. That is Trey Griffin. Rutledge will take it three deep in the end zone. wave and then hit hard at the 26 yard line and Oklahoma State's defense will try it out now as SMU will get its second offensive play as we'll take a look at those lineups now for SMU Bartell getting the interception that's his fifth of the year as we total that 301 yards former minor league baseball player who's dedicated himself to football they're excited about the future with him he's just got a ways to go Kincaid is their leading rusher and been a workhorse back Cunningham an outstanding receiver first to ten at the 25 Kincaid hammered at the 22 yard line a loss on the play Greg Richmond, one of the co-captains leading the way. Let's look at that poke defense, that big front. Richmond has been a huge leader this year with 16 tackles coming in here so far. Smith, Coe, and Hicks up there. McGee and Pinson at the linebackers. And in the secondary, Williams, who got his second interception of the season. They're really excited about the play of Holland and Jones, both Juco transfers. Defensive coordinator Bill Clay said they have provided immediate help as he thought they would, maybe even better than Bill. Second and 13, KK brought down at the 27-yard line. It's going to be third and long for the Ponies. Fata Carter made the tackle from the strong safety slot. Can't go too much east and west on a fast Oklahoma State defense, and that's what they're trying to do here. The linebackers have enough speed, and the secondary comes up, and they're big-time tacklers, Bill. They'll hit from that secondary for Oklahoma State. Kincaid, last year, a school record 327 carries. They'd like to lighten the load up for him a little bit. He's already carried it 59 times coming in here tonight. Griffin on the completion, hit hard at the 25. That play never had a chance to 
to develop. Carter was there, snipped it out from the strong safety slot. He gets a couple of tackles. Trying to get a slip screen outside, and Fav Carter does exactly what you need to do, attack it head on. Quick pass to the left here, and you see Carter, number two, come into the screen. Receiver doesn't have a chance to get going. Excellent play by the defense, and three and out. And coming on to punt, Ryan Menzel, a sophomore from Middle Oakland, Texas, here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Gabe Lindsay, we saw him take one back against Wyoming. And this one is blocked. Blocked by the Cowboys, and they're going to get possession at the 38-and-a-half-yard line of SMU. And I believe Ransom is the man that broke through. Let's take a look here. A 13-yard punt, obviously no return, but the block by OSU. Watch on the right side of your screen. Here's going to come through number 44 at 14. I'm sorry, not 44 Rams. Chase Holland. It's Chase Holland. We get that punt. Big play. Excellent job there on special teams for Oklahoma State. That's something that Phil Bennett needs to have play a lot better play. His special teams have been horrible for SMU, and he's tried to get better improvement there, but an excellent job by the Cowboys on the punt rush and the block. Well, they get the block, and they had the interception. Let's see if they take advantage of this thing. Willis carries to the 34-yard line. Sean Willis, a sophomore, 6'1", 255, from Platonia, Texas. So many Texans on the roster here. OSU, Les Miles tells Gary he wants to play a game here every year in Dallas. He'd like to play a Big 12 school here. Uh, he likes this He likes this environment. They recruit heavily in North Texas and in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So he likes coming down here to play and having his team perform. Second and six after the pickup of four. Willis sets Tatum Bell. One tackle falls to the 30-yard line, picks up four on the play, and well, good news for SMU. Adami, number 14, is back in the lineup at the defensive tackle spot. He actually made Tatum Bell turn and change directions that time, got some good pressure, but Tatum Bell showing his quick feed. Watch here inside, number 14, show up in the picture. Almost had the shoestring tackle on Bell, but Bell does a good job of squirting forward for a few yards. Oklahoma State three of four on third down conversions is third and two at the 30 this time. They pitch to Bell. Bell has the first down. Bell across the 20. And Bell drives it down near the 15-yard line where Harper makes the tackle. Excellent play call here by Mike Gundy for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Bring your quarterback down the last scrimmage. He's going to read the defensive end and a quick pitch out to Tatum Bell and then the blocking outside. Who's that out there? Number 84, De Devon Woods doing a good job. That's Dewan Woods, I'm sorry, on the outside doing a good job blocking. That's what you have to do when you have good tailbacks to get to the outside. Your receivers have to block well. And on a first and ten. Where the end zone is is Bell coming in with seven touchdowns. Last week he got four on 21 carries, 143 yards. He got his other three against Wyoming the week before when he had a career high 215 yards rushing. D.D. Johnson brought him down that time. D.D. Johnson and Brian Bischoff, the two linebackers. There are a couple of seniors trying to give some leadership here for this SMU defense and trying to stop this Cowboy offense from ringing up another score. Well, last year, Oklahoma State won 52 to 16 in Stillwater and scored what? The first seven possessions, I believe, of that blowout. And they did not score their first possession here tonight. Tripped up near the 16. That's what's frustrating for SMU. They held him initially. The interception set up that opening TD. Yeah, Jonas Rutledge coming in, making a nice play on the run game. Got force responsibility from the outside. Watching the right side of your screen, number three, Jonas Rutledge come in and hit Tatum Bell on the shoestrings and bring him down. We've got corner force, which that's run responsibility. You come up and make a tackle. Jonas Rutledge has been testing the passing game. Now he's making tackles. We see him in the kick return game. This senior's doing a lot of things here for the SMU Mustang football team. Third and 10, ball on the 15. Oklahoma State with a 7-0 lead, 4.59 to go first quarter. We're at Ford Stadium, the home opener for SMU. Fields, hands off on the draw. SMU not biting. 
stopping it stiff at the 15. It'll be fourth down and a field goal opportunity for the Cowboys. Desmond Jones made the tackle. Well, that's a great play from a freshman right out of high school, number 96, Desmond Jones. When you've got the draw play, you want to stand up your offensive line and watch the left side of your screen. He stands him up, gets off the block, and finds the running back, Tatum Bell. Excellent job by the big guy. He is a big guy, too. He's 295 pounds up there. Brings a pretty good load. 32-yard attempt coming up for the field goal attempt for Luke Phillips. He's two of three so far this year. Good snap. Hold is good. And the kick is also successful. So Oklahoma State takes advantage of the block punt. Gets three. It's 10-0 with 4-11 remaining in the quarter. SMU football on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by Guarantee Bank. Welcome back to Ford Stadium. Bill Lamb, Gary Reasons, John Radigan with you as Cole Farton gets set to kick it off. The Cowboys have had the football for 8 minutes, 25 seconds. SMU about to get it again. Has only had it for 2.17, Gary. Rutledge, the deep man. And he will take a knee and bring it out to the 20. Well, the time of possession, Bill, has been a big factor on what your offense has been able to produce. SMU, nothing so far. The interception on the first drive, then go three plays and punt, and the punt is blocked. Everything is going right for Oklahoma State. Now, SMU's offense has to come out there. I think that quarterback, Richard Bartell, has to settle down and start making some plays. Get into their offense here. Larry Edmondson, the offensive coordinator, talked to us this week, and he said, hey, we need to do a few things this game. Like take care of some cutback runs. Our offensive line has to execute, and they need to make some big plays in this offense, throwing the football, running the football. They haven't done so the first couple weeks of the season. Yeah, offensively, this team has really struggled as they're having just eight and a half points a game. And on the first down, nothing doing again. Dead at the 20. Total offense, just 242 yards. That's ninth in the whack. Only 90 on the ground, 150 in the air. Well, Vernon Grant went in there and put a pretty good wallop on that tailback. Kincaid and almost knocked his helmet off. Kincaid coming in with 208 yards rushing. And Number 11 on the career charts here at SMU with 1,964. Nothing that time. It's second down and 10. Kincaid next to Bartell, the quarterback in the backfield. Bartell under pressure, underthrows the intended receiver. Now, well, just a basic four-man rush that time by the Cowboy defense. Clay Coe, the defensive end, number 96. Coming in, they're giving pressure on Bartell, and he's trying to instruct one of his receivers to get out a little bit more on that route, and hopefully things will turn around for him. Nothing happening positive here for SMU offensively in this first quarter. Third down and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. Out of the shotgun again is Bartell. dropped under heavy pressure as well as that ball was thrown to Chris Cunningham and Elbert Craig was covering him. Excellent coverage by Craig that time. Bartell steps up, tries to make something out of nothing. But again, three and out here for SMU on the offensive side of the ball. And they've got to punt another one away. Yeah, let's see if uh, Menzel doesn't get a little nervous now, standing back on his five after that block punt that only went 13 yards last time. Clay Coe again and put the pressure in on there as the Ponies fourth and 10 from their 20. Lindsay sets up at his own 40. This one clean and it is high. Lindsay takes it at the 48. Sideline, 35. Lindsay still going and nearly squirted it through to another touchdown. He gets all the way to the 24 yard line of SMU. Gabe Lindsay. Gabe Lindsay took one here, Bill. I thought it was a dangerous catch on his part, coming up and fielding a punt that was actually pretty much in traffic, but he got by one of the coverage people. Take a look at that as he gets by there and good blocking on the sideline, and Gabe Lindsay makes a big play again here on the punt return team for Oklahoma State. Let's go down to John Radigan on the sideline. Yeah, Bill, thank you. Longtime fans of SMU, people who have watched them over the years, may notice a change in the look of the Mustangs this year. They have gone to the blue helmet. 
helmets with the red Mustang on the side. That's a change that Phil Bennett implemented to try and change the culture around here. There has obviously been a losing culture since the return from the death penalty. Another change for this game. Normally, the ponies will wear the blue jerseys at home and the white on the road. You notice, obviously, that they are wearing red jerseys. That's the special big game jersey. Phil Bennett telling me before the game, hey, we wanted to pull out all the stops, get everybody as excited as we could for this first home game of the season. They've been relatively excited, although outmanned thus far, guys. Yeah, good assessment there. It's second and four after a six-yard pickup to Rashawn Woods on the pass play. Fields tosses into this back. Tatum Bell, and he is hit hard at the 15. Well, since they revived the program here in 89, there's only been one winning season. And certainly, uh, Phil Bennett is a guy that knows what long, hard task is ahead of him. I like the fact that he centered his recruiting within 300 miles of this campus. And he said, we're going to go to people that are familiar with it, that know and understand the tradition of SMU football, and we can build from that area. Third and one. Leaps forward, has the first down to the 12-yard line. Well, it's tough to build a program from scratch, and that's kind of what Phil Bennett started with. Although Mike Cabin, who was here, didn't have great success with his football team. He had some quality players, but now Phil Bennett has started to recruit and get better players. He felt like that a year ago, the 23 national signees that he had was one of the best, you know, that this school has had in recent years, and one of the best in the country, ranked 45th nationally, and probably the best in the WAC conference. And they're hoping these young players can be a nucleus of something good for the future here at SMU. First and 10 at the 12 for OSU, looking for its third score, up 10-0. Tatum Bell hit hard near the 10-yard line as things closed in quickly. D.D. Johnson led the way. And when you talk about youth, they're not just talking about it here. 108-man roster with 60 of those freshmen, just 10 seniors, and 20 of the freshmen and we're talking redshirt freshmen as well as true freshmen have seen action. 14 on the two deep. They're still trying to redshirt a bunch for next year. Yeah, 41 of their 79 scholarship players are freshmen or redshirt freshmen, so a lot of youth here at SMU, no doubt. Second and eight from the 10. Fields to throw it up again for Woods. Rashawn Woods with a flag thrown, catches, touchdown, Oklahoma State. Yeah, Jonas Rutledge is arguing on the outside that Rashawn Woods used his hands, used his body to push off to gain that separation to get that football. Rashawn Woods, this is just an audible to line of scrimmage by Josh Fields. It's on the defense, so it's going to go against Jonas Rutledge and not Rashawn Woods. Watch on the outside. Rashawn Woods trying to push into the end zone, get some separation, and the ball was a little bit underthrown here, and Rashawn comes back and works inside. You see the contact there. Jonas Rutgers felt like he was pushed off on, and Rashawn Woods does what he's done time and time again, go back and get a football. Phillips on for the point after. Every coach we talk to when we do an Oklahoma State game, opposing coach will tell us, and the SMU coach has said the same thing, Gary. Woods gets great separation. Now he uses his hands, said he's a tremendous receiver, but we've got to do a better job of not allowing that and not trust the official to make some call. Very seldom have we seen that going against Woods. No doubt about it. He's got a lot of calls over the years, and he's done so here tonight. Got a couple of footballs on underthrows that he's gone up for. He does get that separation, Bill. That's one of the key things that he is as a receiver that is very uncanny and makes him one of the best in the country. When your quarterback has enough confidence to throw it to you out there, and he knows that you're going to go up for the football and come down with it most of the time, you're going to get a lot of footballs come your way. So Fields, 11-yard pass play, complete, and it's now 14-0 Oklahoma State over SMU. And the records continue for Oklahoma State in their offense. Five plays, 24 yards. They got the good punt return. Boy, special teams have been huge tonight. We'll talk about SMU offensively now. When they go back out on this football field, they have to find something that's going to work. They haven't had anything positive happen for them running the football, passing the ball, had the interception that set up a score early in this football game. So SMU offensively needs to go back out there. Larry Edmondson, their offensive coordinator, has to talk to his quarterback, Richard Bartell, and say, Richard, let's find something that works, get the offensive line in rhythm, and run the football a little bit. I think that will certainly help their passing game. Oklahoma State's had four possessions, and they started on their own 13. They did not score. The SMU 3, the SMU 38, and the SMU 24. They scored in each of those. Rutledge bringing it back. They 
closing quickly as he is stuffed at the 17 yard line. Jonas Rutledge on the kick return and the again ponies will operate in their own territory in a tough position. Shows you that Jonas Rutledge is a game player four or five yards deep in his end zone bringing that ball out but excellent coverage by Oklahoma State. Now Richard Bartell and company going to come out there and have to go a long field. Martell and crew, first and 10 from their own 17 yard line. Massey gets the call. That's his first carry. Now that's the cutback run that they talked to us about they want to do, and that is get the offensive line. It's zone blocking on the front side and the near side, and then you can see the cutback. Watch the tailback come back to your left. That's exactly what you want to have as a cutback, but good good presence there by the defense of Oklahoma State. Not allowed a big play, but still, Bill, on first down, get three yards, maybe four on first down. That's something positive for SMU, and you're building it with the running game. Rishul Massey, 5'11", 200, a freshman from Hillsborough, Texas, getting his first action tonight. Second and seven after the three yard pickup there at the 20 yard line. He stays in the game as the lone back behind Bartell. Oklahoma State with a 17 0 lead. And Massey going forward gets a couple more here. Massey was the MVP of his district with 1,300 yards and 20 touchdowns in his senior year. Had a broken foot that caused him to miss a couple of games. And a guy who was considered one of the plums of that recruiting class we've been talking about, John Holland, made the stop here. Again, a cutback. Watch his lane that fills up right here. Good job that time by the young fullback coming across and getting some positive yardage. And Greg Richmond coming through making a tackle from his defensive end spot. A lot of separation when you do that zone blocking and you can find some holes backside. Holland, you saw finishing him off and comes out of the game. May have banged his shoulder a little bit on that play as that ends the first quarter. It has been all Oklahoma State. The scoreboard indicates such 17-0 second quarter coming up. Oklahoma State with a 17-0 lead after the first quarter. Bill Land, Gary Reasons, John Radigan and crew with you here. Oklahoma State with Woods getting a couple of touchdown receptions. And the Cowboys with a field goal to boot. And I think a key third down here for SMU, Bill, coming in starting the second quarter. First opportunity for them to have a third and manageable situation where they can get a first down on this Cowboy defense. So I think this is a big momentum boost for SMU offensively if they can get this accomplished. Yeah, the Ponies shut out in the first down category in the first quarter. So third and three, a big play. Nothing else keep the defense off and just give their offense a little bit of confidence. Bartell with a man in his face just has to throw it away. That was Greg Richmond coming in from the end position. Yeah, the timing just wasn't there on that play and Bartell throws it away and throws it outside. Hopefully he's thinking his receiver can make an adjustment to catch that football, but not able to do so. Good pressure by the Cowboy defense. They've been a little bit on defense. Gave about seven yards, but uh, played well on third down. That means Menzel on again to kick, and it's got an old story for him. He's standing on his 10 this time. Gabe Lindsay, who had a nice return last time. Williams is the return man, and he collides with the SMU player. Yeah, you're going to have a penalty here, interfering with the returner's opportunity to catch the football. This was the inaugural year of it for us. It's a great looking cup, too. You'll, you'll proudly show that thing off upstairs. It's going to be in my office. <laughs> That's Jim Copeland, and we'll get it back upstairs to you guys. On a first and ten, they go to Woods again for another touchdown. This one a 34-yard toss, a flag on the play, and Woods, who dropped a couple earlier, makes just another great grab here. Well, he makes a great grab, and Jonas Rulledge again is going to be in the contact here. Number three. They're calling on the defense again. Jonas yeah. Rudd is trying to do what he can. He thinks the call should go against Rashawn Woods for pushing off and getting separation, but the call is not going his way once again. Third touchdown here of the night for Rush, uh, Rashawn Woods, the big play receiver. We talked about him catching everything in sight. Well, he missed three passes early in the football game, but now he's come up with three scores. Yeah, and you can bet he's going, don't quit giving it to me. I'll make up, believe me. And Phillips comes on for the point after. He is still perfect on the season. And the nightmare start for SMU continues into the second quarter. It is 24-0 Oklahoma State.
24 nothing Oklahoma State and Rashawn Woods Josh Fields putting on quite a show here tonight. Here is where Rashawn Woods ranks Big 12 career wise receiving yards number one receptions number one TD catches number one. A lot of people will say Bill the best ever receiver in the Big 12 conference really putting a, a show on here tonight. And it's at SMU. And Josh Fields doing well also. 8 of 12, 75 yards, and three touchdowns. And all three to Woods. Phillips with a field goal to boot, and it's 24 0. And Farden will kick it off again as Rutledge is again the deep man. Rutledge getting a workout tonight. A trying to cover Woods, and they would throw it deep. And he's also, of course, in the kick return units. This one will sail out of the end zone. So Farden has done his job. And with a 24 nothing at 1440 to go in the first half. Farden gets a congrats as he comes off. Well for SMU offensively the key that they've got to do they've got to get a first down on offense. They've got to move the football. If you keep giving good field position this Oklahoma State offense they're going to score time and time again and they've shown the, the ability to do that here early in this football game. So SMU offensively they've got to find something to work to get it done. complete at the 25 yard line. He had no time to get that thing off. Yeah, but it's a good play on first down, but they've got a penalty. They're going to have a motion penalty against the inside slot receiver on the top of the field. So it's going to come back for now. They're going to start with a first and 15. Little miscues here. Phil Bennett can't be happy with those. His offense going backwards. That's not Illegal what you want to do on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still first down. Yeah, he's right here. He's going to go forward. You're going to take a look there just before the snap starts, and that's exactly what uh, the official called. And the execution was there. They got the plays that Phil, Bell wa Phil Bennett wanted to get something positive offensively, but the miscue of the penalty sets him back five. First at 15 now, ball on the 15-yard line. And again, this one doesn't get underway before they try to flip it to Kincaid. Prior to the snap, false start on the offense. Still, first down. Well, the things that kill you as a football team are penalties, errors, turnovers, and then special teams miscues, big plays in special teams. And all of those things have gone against SMU tonight so far early in this football game. They're shooting themselves in the foot, throwing interceptions, big plays allowed in the passing game on their defense. And now their offense miscues with the false starts and the motion penalties, setting up a first and 20. It's hard to operate in those situations. First and 20 ball on the 10 yard. sideline Matt Rushbrook very much thought he had his foot in the sideline here thought it was but the quarterback Bartell kind of slung that ball out there as far as he could throw it for Rushbrook who's going down the near sideline right by his bench and just led the receiver a little bit too far wide a good catch and a good throw but a little bit too wide take a look here he's going to come down the near sideline he's got coverage here underneath he throws ball over the top watch his feet are the feet in no just out good call by the officials Second down and 20, the ball on the 10-yard line. Standing at the five is Bartell in the shotgun. Kincaid next to him. Rushbrook to the top here screen. And it is incomplete. So third and 20 coming up. Well, Bill Clay, the defensive coordinator for Oklahoma State, knows a little bit about defense, and he does going against his young quarterback. Bring the house, bring the bring the pressure on him. Throwing situation, this offense is backed up. You're going to have some pressure put against this offense now. They're not going to allow him to stand back there and make throws. And this uh, this defense for Oklahoma State getting pressure in the, in the quarterback's face and not able for him to step up and make throws. You see the production there, one of seven here for, for Bartell with the interception. Third and 20 now. room for the punt situation and he is stuffed shy of the 15 yard line well the Oklahoma State defense they look strong Bill. yeah they were very impressive in a season opening loss to Nebraska 17 to 7 turnovers killed them up there 
and then they've I don't know if they stubbed their toe, but they jumped out to a huge lead over Wyoming. And then the Cowboys, the Wyoming Cowboys, came back, made it 48-24. Last week, they only gave up a field goal against Southwest Missouri State. Bill Clay's got to be excited. His group's starting to hit their stride. No doubt about it. One of the better defenses a year ago in the Big 12. And they've gotten off to a pretty good start this year with some good play inside. Menzel's kick is off and taken by Lindsey. 40. Lindsey, sideline, 35 on the OSU side near the 32-yard line, a 31-yard putt, a 13-yard return. It's all OSU, 24-0. Some SMU fans. Yeah, I signed her cast for her. How's that? Didn't work too well, but it's the thought that counts. They're looking on, and you see why the no smile is it's 38 nothing. Last year, SMU, we mentioned, got pummeled in Stillwater. There's 45 nothing in the half. We got 841 to go before we get to the break here tonight. Sean Woods, five touchdown passes from Josh Fields. Out of the end zone. SMU will get it on its own 20-yard line. And Woods now with 34 career touchdown receptions. Well, SMU now back on offense, Bill. Let's see who they've got at the quarterback spot. Going to go back with Tate Willis and give him, Wallace, excuse me, and give him a chance to to go again on this series. See the frustration on the SMU sideline. Wallace flips it out. And Kincaid. You know, not bad blocking at all at the point of attack by SMU offensively on the corner there. But what they do defensively, they've got speed. They're able to run to the sideline. You talked about going east and west on this defense. It's not going to happen a lot. You need to go north and south. And Woods again, six plays, Bill. Covered 52 yards pretty quickly. Sean Woods, fifth touchdown, career high, and total yards tonight. Oklahoma State 197, SMU 22. Second and seven ball at the 23 for the Mustangs. Stepped out around the 21, so third long coming up again. And Wallace getting on some of his players out there. He's trying to get his troops straightened out out there. There's some players not doing their assignments, and the quarterback taking it on himself to make some adjustments out there, scolding some of his offensive players and just trying to get something positive happen here. You have to find a leader, and maybe Wallace is taking on that role. I mean, the offense has just been stuffed, and you can talk about covering Rashawn Woods all you want, but when your defense plays all the time, you're going to have constant breakdowns, particularly when you're going against the skill level of Oklahoma State. The offense third and nine at 21 now for the Ponies, and Wallace in trouble. Going to be a face mask on there, and another flag is thrown before he is finally sacked on the play. Finally has at least a moment to look over there and say, all right, what are we going to do to regroup? And you've got to take anything you can get, no matter how it came about. Good blocking up front. Wallace got time for a change. Incomplete. Good coverage out in the secondary. As uh, intended for Rushbrook, the junior from El Paso came in with two touchdown receptions and eight passes caught on the year. Ransom and Williams, the double coverage. Well, that's a positive there for SMU offensively. Good coverage, that, um, excuse me, good pass protection up front for Wallace able to throw the football. And I just got to put a couple of things together, the throw and the catch, and they'll make a play. Second and 10. Line of scrimmage of 36 for SMU. Wallace, two wideouts to each side. The look into Rushbrook, and Williams was there to knock it away. Well, if there was any hope here today for SMU, it might have been on what happened this afternoon, Gary. Middle Tennessee pushed Missouri to an overtime before losing 41-40. And Marshall, out of the back, but without its number one quarterback, went into Manhattan and beat six-ranked Kansas State in a real stunner of the day. Well, if Wes Miles needed any motivational for his ball club, I just put those 
two scores on the board in the locker room and say, well, fellas, what else do we need to know? Well, that's the momentum that you want coming out here, but things have not gone well for SMU. All that's out the window. They've got to play some football and find some way to get something moving offensively. Third and 10 at the 36. Wallace collapsing again, and the pressure on with the sack at the 29-yard line. Well, the coordination in the passing game is just not there right now for this offense. Routes down the field, I think they're broken off. The quarterback is expecting the receivers to do one thing, and then the pass protection breaks down. Tate Wallace is going to, you're going to see him here looking out to his right side, and he's looking for a receiver to break open, but the receiver stands still, and then the defense just takes over and smothers him. Mo Aaron leads the way, junior out of Tulsa Memorial, and the sack makes it fourth and 17, and Menzel under pressure with the kick. And it is returned, and a flag is thrown at the 35-yard line. 35-yard punt and a one-yard return that time. And the middle of it is with recycled tires. Sometimes when the play stops and there's a violent collision at the end of the play, you will see black bursts, black dust. That's this right here. And that is recycled rubber. It's tires just recycled and constantly added into the turf. That provides the softness for the players. And that's one of the reasons it is soft enough for them to land on. And it reduces the injury factor compared to the old traditional kind of astroturf. Yeah, John, if you pop your hand on that turf, right there you'll probably see some of that rubber come up this is a, a field that is a uh, widely accepted now across the country as one of the better playing surfaces second and six ball on the 30 for oklahoma state and out to the 34 yard line before charlie berry makes the tackle on tatum bell the other thing about this surface gary they had a very nice grass field here but the grand plan for coach phil bennett is he has a showcase facility here he wants high school playoff games played here he wants to have as many events as possible he wants to bring people to this campus to get in the operation of hey this is a great place to go watch an event whether it's your high school team or smu it helps attract recruits i like the idea it's a great venue and they've got excellent facilities here all around for this football program and this campus is just beautiful you're gonna play on a grass field you just cannot do that one rainy night and the season's done for everybody that's a nice tackle defensively it's a good job coming up and getting tatum bell that's in the booth he wanted the safeties back there for the mustangs and look at this gonna make the oklahoma state cowboys punt one wow how about that for a change cole farton will come on punt hasn't happened since the first series and then the nightmare started as SMU's first offensive play was an interception by Darren Williams off the pass from Bartell. 38 points later, they're going to punt for the next time. Rushbrook is deep. Rushbrook at his 20. Got a man there, and he'll fair catch it. So SMU's defense does the job, and the offensive unit will get another pop now. Well, that's exactly what you'd like to have happen. Slow down that Cowboy offense. Been a long time since they've gone out there and just done their job defensively, given up a lot of scores and a lot of points. 4.32 to go here. Fox NFL Sunday, the pregame show that wins all the awards, returns again tomorrow. Hope you have a chance to enjoy all the action and then look for Redskins and their contest and also the halftime report with James Brown, Terry, Howie, and Jimmy as they analyze the Redskins' hot start and whether or not it will continue. That's only on Fox. Robert Jones making the tackle here. Another big hit from Oklahoma State University. No doubt Robert Jones, the cornerback, gets off the block and makes a really nice tackle on the swing pass. Take a look at the left side of your screen. You're going to see Robert Jones, number six, just get off the block. You'll see the offensive person off the field and then come up and make a nice tackle on Rushbrook. Second and nine, ball on the 21-yard line now. SMU trading 38 0, 354 to go first half. Bill Land, Gary Reason, John Radigan with you on Fox Sports Net here in Dallas. Timeout as Wallace saw something he didn't like and will come over to the bench to talk it over. Yeah, the play clock was down to zero, Bill, so didn't want to take the five yard penalty and set his offense back even further. Going to keep it to second and nine. 
You know, at halftime tonight, they're going to honor Jerry Levias, the uh, great All-American who is off to the College Hall of Fame and the first African-American player in the Southwest Conference. They have loads of tradition and history here. And talking about Doak Walker on the left, Kyle wrote number 44 on the right. What a combo they were in the good old days for SMU. And Doak Walker to Kyle Rope, touchdown ponies. And of course, the Doak Walker Award. And he won the Heisman as well. And just some of the tradition that SMU is trying to remind folks of. And Doak Walker, the only three-time All-America in Pony history. It was back-to-back -back Southwest Conference titles. The Heisman in 48. And you see rushing and throwing. What a combo. Late Doak Walker was. And I think Phil Bennett is the kind of guy that recognizes that history and has the ability here if there's the patience shown. You know, I thought Jim Cope the AD made a good comment when he said the death penalty hurt, but losing the Southwest Conference hurt more. And the whack and the whole shuffle that goes on in college athletics becomes a big story. Second and nine, follow in the timeout. It's a big play here for this SMU offense, no doubt about that. Keelan Kincaid, actually he had the longest play from scrimmage so far this year, a 30-yard reception from the quarterback to Kincaid, but here he takes one back inside between the safeties and does a good job going north and south and a big first down for the Mustangs. Holland and Carter combined for the tackle for OSU. Kincaid had come in with three receptions for 36 yards. Last year, he caught 20 balls for 143 yards. So, valuable asset running and receiving. First and 10 of the 42. And the draw play to the 46-yard line. Almost broke that one. Just a shoestring tackle by the defense, Oklahoma State, or or Keelan Kincaid's going to have a huge running play. Good job on the cutback, finding the seam, and it's a good job on first down, picking up five yards. Lawrence Pinson making the tackle, number 99, a sophomore from Jenks, Oklahoma, came in with 21 tackles. Well, second down and five, ball on the 47 now. So trying to get into Oklahoma State territory. Wallace, the heat is on, and he is sacked. Antonio Smith, the senior from Oklahoma City out of John Marshall High, comes up with his third sack of the season. That's a quick get off right there. Look on the left side of your screen. Antonio Smith, number 91, off the play action pass. Quarterback doesn't have a chance to set up and throw that football. Smith comes around the corner very nicely. Third and 13. Saturday continues with a halftime report from the studio as Bill Jones and Dana Larson love day trips. Stay with us for that. Third and 13, and again, the OSU defense there. Another big play to stop Wallace and Cruz. Well, they've got some young players in the offensive line for SMU and a little more experience, perhaps, on the defensive front for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Just rushing four there, and the, the five offensive linemen in the back protecting, unable to hold out the Cowboy defense. And SMU now 0 of 7 on third down conversions. It's fourth and 19 and a timeout Oklahoma State with 1.43 remaining. Let me stand corrected in that halftime. Rick Renner will be along with Dana Larson to update you on everything that's happening in college football Saturday here on Fox Sports Net. Well, Oklahoma State wanting to get that football back, preserve some time. They think they can get that punt return, get good field position, and get that offense geared up one more time. As we mentioned a year ago, Bill, they put 45 points up in the first half, and looks like they're like to try to match that again here in 2003. Well, coaches don't want to talk about it, but media, we do. When you looked at the OSU schedule, they opened with the biggie in Lincoln against Nebraska, lost a tough one. 
But when you look at what OSU had brought back this year after last year's eight and five season, you realize they had a chance to regain momentum with Wyoming, Southwest Missouri, SMU next week, University of Louisiana Lafayette before Kansas State comes calling in their second Big 12 game. Yeah, and one of the keys here for SMU, they like to win a game in September. That's one of the things that Phil Bennett told us, and that's uh, that's not happening here tonight. They go to work with the WAC in Nevada next week. Punt return by Williams, and Darren takes it out to the. Yeah, giving Gabe Lindsay a break there and get Darren Williams a, ch a chance to return a punt almost near midfield. Yeah, going to mark it after a 12-yard return and a 45-yard punt. Line of scrimmage will be the 47 yard line. Well, Rashawn Woods, take a look at what he did last year versus this season. Six catches, 92 yards, and a touchdown tonight. Nine catches, 137 yards, and more importantly, five scores. This is just the first half. 133 to go. Absolutely incredible numbers. Looking for Rashawn Woods again. And SMU is saying, you know what? We're going to find a couple guys. Well, that's a bracket coverage. They've got one short, one deep on him, and that's probably the way you need to co uh, cover Rashawn Woods. You've got to respect his speed. You've also got to respect his ability to stop and get separation, have someone play underneath him. That's probably the effective way to go about covering him. 26, Orlando Humphrey getting the shot there. Sophomore from Cedar Hill, Texas with the Duncanville High School. Second and 10, ball on the 47 now of Oklahoma State. And fields again out of the shotgun. Looking deep again. DeWan Woods and covering that time was Humphrey as they juggled it when going out of bounds. That's kind of the mentality of this offense. Throw it up to your tall receivers. DeWan Woods also got good height, Bill, and kind of like his brother, able to jump up and catch those footballs. 6'2 youngster, just not able to pull that ball down. But I think time and time again, you see Josh Fields throw the football up and expect his receiver to come down with it. Bartell and Wallace conferring over on the sidelines as they certainly have been shell-shocked in this first half by Oklahoma State, 38-0. Cowboys want more, third and 10 on their own 47. Take to Bell, fields again all day. And again, Woods, the intended receiver, and incomplete Rutledge was back there. Jones makes the a nice the play, does a good job knocking the football away. Time and time again, you've seen Rashawn Woods go against Jonas Rutledge, number three here. You see the separation? The ball is just thrown underneath, and that gives a Opportunity for Rutledge to make up on the foot, make a play on the football, and he does so pretty nicely there. I think if Josh Fields had let him again, it could have been a score here for uh, Oklahoma State. Josh Fields, junior from Stillwater, with all five of those touchdown passes to Woods. Fourth and ten, ball on the 47, and a punt. Second consecutive possession. Farden boots it away. Rushbrook comes up near the 15. Let's it go though, and into the end zone for the touchback. And SMU with 104 to go, following the 53-yard punt, we'll bring it out to the 20. Your Phil Bennett, crew, what do you do with this last minute, Gary? Well, I think you try to go out there and you're gonna run a play. I don't think you just sit on it. You try to get something going offensively here. Just hand it off inside, bang it in there, get your run game. Don't do anything foolish or stupid and cause yourself a bad situation trying to throw a pass or a pitch play or anything where the defense can capitalize and get an easy score. But uh, you know, go ahead and set a little tempo here, run the football, just do something that you want to try to improve upon in the second half. SMU's total offense, 26 yards. OSU sack yardage, 23 yards tonight. Turn it up, turn it up, baby. knocking helmets off as he rolls to the 25-yard line. And that's a new player also slow to get up. Well, you hear the coaches on the sideline say, stay with it, stay with it. That's exactly the mentality that you have to have. A first down play, going to get four to five yards here with Kincaid on the right side. Going to get the lead blockers out front. Just bang it up in there and go against this Cowboy defense and get some tough yardage. Marky Fountain. The helmet. And Sterling Harris was a little slow to get up on the offensive line. The starting tackle. Second and five, ball on the 25. Duquesne 
pushing it forward with 15 seconds to go, and that will, I assume, be the final play of the first half. Oklahoma State with an absolutely amazing performance from Josh Fields and Rashawn Woods connecting on five touchdown passes in the first half and leading it 38 to nothing here in Dallas on the campus of SMU. And the Cowboys headed to the locker room. Be interesting to find out just exactly what areas they think they can improve on because they only had to punt it three times, the starting possession, and then the last two, and Woods has had a record-setting night. Let's go down to John Radigan with head coach Les Miles of the Cowboys. Yep, Les Miles, pretty good half, obviously, offensively. For a while, it was just pitch and catch. Rashawn looked pretty good after two early drops. He didn't miss anything. After yeah, that. well, you know, their, their defensive package is designed to stop the rush. They put their safeties down in the box there. They're making a lot of uh, tackles so we have to throw the football it's it's the it's the only smart thing to do at this point do you now let your guys get a little rest or do you come back out with your starters what do you do in the second well, half we want to play four solid quarters whoever's in the game and we're not going to substitute early in the second half but whoever's in the game we got to play solid squared away cowboy football that's great that's we appreciate it. Nice thank you very much cowboys with a 38 nothing lead at halftime let us send it now back to the studio bill jones and dana larson Welcome back to Ford Stadium. Bill Land, Gary Reeses, John Radigan with you. Halftime OSU getting ready to come back on. The Ponies already have with a 38-0 score in favor of the Big 12 and Oklahoma State against SMU. I we'll have a chance to take a look at some of our first half highlights here in just a moment, which as you can imagine is an OSU package and Rashawn Woods and Josh Fields, Gary. No doubt about it. Those two have been electric tonight, matching up here, throwing ball after ball. Josh Fields finding his number one receiver and his big target, Rashawn Woods. And Rashawn Woods not dropping anything that's close to him in the end zone. Coming up around this evening, Bill, five touchdown receptions for Rashawn Woods in the first half. Josh Fields has found his big target time and time again. The SMU Mustangs have not had an answer for him in the secondary. They've got to find something in the second half to slow him and Josh Fields down a bit. And Woods with five TD receptions here in the first half alone, all from Josh Fields. And we had a chance to visit with head coach Phil Bennett, John Radigan with that interview. Let's go down to him. Which it was obviously a tough first half to score, says that. Uh, what do you do to keep them up and, and turn things around a little bit in the second? Well, as I just told them, you got two to, two choices. You either, you either lay down or you fight, and you say, hey, the second half, we, I played the way I'm capable of playing. Uh, we got to move the ball. We can't keep our defense on the field with short fields. Uh, got to do a better job in the punt game. You know, we knew we were playing a good team. And, and you know, I know them. They'll, they'll try to pour it on us. And, and if you're a competitor, which I think we are, I, I think we'll play better than we did the first half. Your guys did have a little bit of a spark at the end of the first half. Is that maybe something to build on? A well, you bit? have to. I mean, we're at the point where, where you have to, any anything positive you pull on. But as I told them and I told the coaches, I mean, this we'll be in this position uh, maybe again. But you don't quit and you fight. Coach, we appreciate Thank it. You. Good luck with it. That's Coach Phil Bennett back upstairs to you guys now. Thanks very much, John. Yeah, Phil Bennett told us earlier this week, he goes, you know, if I had my druthers, I think I'd like to play Baylor again. I think I'd get a split <laughs> of a doubleheader. We had a great shot at him last time. He knew what he was getting into tonight with OSU. Let's take a look at our guarantee halftime stats. And it is true, is a, it too, rather, is an all OSU story. All one-sided. The big thing here for SMU is they've only got two first downs in this first half, and they need to get that turned around, move the football on offense, total yardage, really have had no production. And the really the short field, that uh, Oklahoma State has had to go down the field. Only 200 yards of total offense. You'd think there'd be a lot more yardage, but really not because they've had short fields to work with. But the big five touchdown passes from Josh Fields to Rashawn Woods, really the score here, uh, really the story of this first half. 205 to 33 in total yardage. And SMU, yeah, they have had the football some of the time of possession as Les Miles looks on as his club rolling 38 nothing, And you know he wants no letdown from this unit and the ball kicked off and it will be down by Rutledge. First and 10 at the 20 for SMU here at Ford Stadium. Well, interesting to see what quarterback comes back out. Both of them played in the first half and 
Let's take a look here. I think Tate Wallace may get the shot to come back out here for the Mustangs. Really move the ball a little bit for the, the Mustangs in the second quarter. Got a couple of first downs and had things rolling, so Phil Bennett has gone with the other sophomore quarterback, Wallace, to start this third quarter. The series, SMU 6-2, 2-2, two, two two, the leader as this goes back to 1922. These two actually in the Southwest Conference together. Then OSU in the Missouri Valley in the Big 8 before now in the Big 12. A couple of times in the first half, Bill, they ran that toss play to the to the strong side, the little power blocking inside, on the outside rather, and good job that time by Keelan Kincaid of cutting back here. The pitch, you see it, and watch the blocking out front. Kincaid sees it and cuts back, does a good job of picking up almost five yards on first down. Did get five. Mike Williams makes the tackle, a senior from Denver, Denver Colorado, a backup on that front. OSU, though, pretty much that first unit here starting the second half. Bartell with the Wallace calling it out with second and five of the 25. And it is incomplete. Intended for Chris Cunningham. And Cunningham is a guy that actually is a graduate already here at SMU. Had nine receptions coming in. Boy, they put a blanket on him and the pressure they put on quarterback Bartell. He's had no opportunity to go to one of their top receivers. Yeah, they call him the Comet here. Chris Comet just on the outside. You're going to see him here. He's going to try to go up and the quarterback thinks he's going to continue, but actually he slows to the outside. But the ball has continued up the field. This little miscommunication. Wallace perhaps not getting as many reps as the starter, Richard Bartell, in practice. And, and obviously a miscommunication. Cunningham missed all of last year with a, a broken foot, suffered on a punt return. And in 01, he had 45 receptions. Well, again, Wallace running and unloads. Looking deep for Rushbrook now. He just threw it out of bounds on a third and five. Well, I think he saw Matt Rushbrook, but saw him late. If he'd have let him down the field and inside, uh, in. In bounds, he might have had an opportunity for Rushbrook to catch the ball a little bit overthrown and out of bounds, as you said, Bill. So the Oklahoma State Cowboys did what they did a lot of in the first half, and that's uh, go make uh, the offense go three downs and out. Gabe Lindsay is the return man for Oklahoma State. And Ryan Mensel. A sophomore who was part of the whack all freshman unit last year when he averaged 38.2 per kick is back on his own 11. Terrible punt off the yep. side of his foot, Bill. And Oklahoma State is going to get great field position, which was the big story of the first half for the Cowboys. Stay with us on Fox Sports Day. Welcome back here to Ford Stadium with SMU on the short side, 38 nothing. We were talking earlier this uh, quarter about the series and SMU leading at 6-2-2. The first meeting at Dallas since 1950. And SMU diehards hang in there. OSU's never won in Dallas. So you're going, well, OK, I got that to hang on. Well, let's go take some comeback, I'll tell you that. Well, you see Josh Fields and Rashawn Woods come back out on the field and get this offense out there again. It's a short field once again, 35-yard line of the Mustangs. Speaking of history, Woods going for it on first down. Got it inside the 10 and down to the 5-yard line. Well, Woods with five touchdown receptions if he gets a sixth Rutledge was attempting to cover on the play and I'm not knocking Rutledge that's how great Woods is if he gets a six it ties an NCAA record well this is just confidence throw it out there outside and up high make your receiver go up for it and Rashawn Woods is kind of trotting down the sideline it looks like Jonas Rutledge really has pretty good coverage on him but the adjustments that Rashawn Woods makes on the football just allows him to make a play on him and catch that ball first and goal from the five yard line Rashawn Woods wide to the left. Do you need to know anything else? Woods just underthrown. Humphrey covering on the play. Well, up in Oklahoma, there had been some criticism of the OSU offense that they have not been able to get this connection going, Gary. Well, they've silenced those critics tonight. Well, they've got good production here. A little bit of miscommunication, though, on the throw from Fields that time. Perhaps thinking Rashawn going to turn back to the outside quick, more quickly than that. A little bit underthrown. Offensive coordinator Mike Gundy will be the first to tell you. you know, Josh Fields hasn't hit his stride yet, but people have been playing the pass. Tonight they're playing the run, and they're going back to the air, and Woods. Unbelievable. Humphrey trying to cover on the play. Another 
touchdown and an NCAA record tying six TD of the night. Rashawn Woods. Well, Humphrey really has no chance here. You have to respect the speed, the jumping ability, and then you do a comeback route, which is something they haven't done all night. That's just another arsenal in the repertoire that that receiver has, and Josh Fields capitalizes with a sixth touchdown pass of the night to him. Phillips for the point after. He has been perfect. And six of six tonight. An NCAA record tying six TD reception in one game. Rashawn Woods. 45-0. Welcome back to Gerald J. Ford Stadium where Rashawn Woods has had a record-tying night thus far. Six touchdown receptions for him. I'm John Radigan with the president of Guarantee Bank, Tom Yenny. And, Tom, I know you guys have sponsored this event. I know you're also big supporters of education. Yes, we are. Uh, thank you, John. We really thought this was going to be a great opportunity. We have 150 banking centers in Texas. We support all our educational institutions. We really thought this would be a great opportunity to uh, sponsor this game with two great colleges, close proximity. It's a regional game, a beautiful night. We thought it would be, it would be great. What was the thought pro the behind the actual decision to get involved with this game? game on five. Well, uh, it's like I said, um, we're a regional bank. Uh, we're headquartered in Texas. We have offices in California and Texas. Um, don't have anything in Oklahoma, but we really support the concept of regionalism in, in college athletics. And here's a chance, although the score doesn't reflect it, here's a chance for two great universities to compete uh, in our market area, and we just felt we needed to be part of that. Well, we appreciate you being part of it. Sell Guarantee Bank just a little bit for us. What can well, you tell us about As it? I said, Guarantee Bank's about an $18 billion bank. We're, we're based in Texas. We're owned by Texans. We uh, we believe in, in, in our state and supporting the things in our state. We're primarily a consumer bank uh, and a commercial bank. We are big in housing finance, housing lending. Um, our footprint, our banking centers are primarily on the I-35 corridor to the east in Houston and Texas. Uh, Houston and Dallas and San Antonio and Austin uh, and we want more customers and so uh, people watching Fox today come out and give us a shot. That's great. Well we really appreciate you supporting this game and supporting college athletics. Thank you. That is Tom Yenny from Guarantee Bank. Guys back upstairs to you. Thanks John. Certainly appreciate all the support of Guarantee Bank that uh, so vital with the corporate sponsorship here. SMU oh, trying to get it going and they do on a second and five from the 25 as Kincaid has run out of bounds around the 43-yard line. John Holland, the junior from Oklahoma City, making the stop for Oklahoma State. And a nice rushing first down for SMU, doing a good job of winning the corner. The Mustangs get the football running and running downhill, as, a, as coaches like to call it. You're going to win this corner. Look at the angle that Keelan Kincaid is able to get here around the corner, coming downhill at an angle and using his speed to get to the sideline. And that's a good job of getting a big play and a first down here for these Mustangs. Kincaid last year, third in the whack with 1,279 yards rushing on a school record 327 carries. He is a workhorse. First to 10. And it is complete to the 50 and across to the 45-yard line. On the receiving end, Darren Brown from Angleton, Texas. Kind of a cool play here. You send your fullback out to that side, and he bluff blocks the blitzer. And he, what he does, he goes right past him. Wallace just waiting for the time. And watch, he's going to come here, go past the blitzer, Richmond on the outside, and run right by him. Watch the dump pass and good job of execution. That's your blitz pick up there. The quarterback knows he's hot. He has to get that ball out there and execute very nicely. Brown's third reception of the year. First to 10, the ball at the 44 of Oklahoma State. So Wallace and crew. Trying to get a little thing going here. Two wide outs to the near side. Kincaid on the draw. Did his best to get a couple and a stop by Vernon Grant, sophomore from Duncanville, Texas. Well, moving into Cowboy uh, part of the field, Bill, here on the plus, what, 46, 44 yard line or so. Got to be something positive. Phil Bennett said, hey, we got to fight at halftime. We've got to come out and a fight. You got to have a little bit of heart, a little desire, a little attitude. And his offense is trying to put some things together here and done a pretty good uh, job of moving the football in this drive. Second and nine, ball at the 43 yard line. Trey Griffin makes 
makes the reception as Griffin, a junior from Lockhart, Texas, nearly got his first touchdown of the year. And Wallace shows a pretty nice touch on his football. Going to have Trey Griffin to his right side. Watch him look in the middle of the field and hanging out there nicely in the corner of the, of the field. The post flag route pattern here. And good job by... You see Griffin bringing the ball in and two Cowboys just having to converge on him because he had beaten the coverage. First and goal from the six yard line for SMU. Trying to break the shutout. Kincaid, great second effort, but the Cowboys closed and stop him near the seven. Maybe a loss on the play. Well, DeGrate, the linebacker, doing a good job of, of scraping and hitting Keelan Kincaid. You think he's going to make the corner and possibly turn it in for the score, but DeGrate says, no way, Jose. Watch number 51 come across there and lay some leather on Keelan Kincaid. This is going to be a square-up hit right there in the hole, and then the rest of his teammates come in, and they make a nice stop. Second and goal from the seven after a loss of one. Rushbrook, wide left. Griffin, the widest to the right side. Cunningham in the sock, and Kincaid the running back. Kincaid trying to follow that offensive line and does so to inside the five yard line. It'll be third and goal from just short of the four. Well, Phil Bennett and company trying to find something that's going to work, get these, this Mustang offense in the end zone, third and five, and probably going to be a passing down. You want six or nothing here? Well, you want it. Well, no, you, you want to put break points the on the board. I, it doesn't really matter. They're going to execute the best they can. I, it, there's no slap in the face if you kick a field goal here. Yeah. Just, let's get something on the board. First things first. Third and five for your goal, I should say, on the five. Wallace looking for Rushbrook. What a catch. Oh, my. Superb. Catch one hand, and a flag is thrown. Well, I'm believing that's on OSU. It's probably going to be on OSU. Similar contact that Rashawn Woods has had tonight. They'll go for two, or so it would appear. Let's see. Yes, they will. As Wallace keeping the football dives, did not get in. Wallace, you heard him say, "What?" Saying, did I not break the goal line? Not according to the official, but boy, what a beautiful pass and what an unbelievable reception by Rushbrook. Oklahoma State loses the shutout. SMU on a great pass play, denied on the two-point conversion attempt, but it's 45-6 now. Cowboys over the ponies of SMU. Bill Ann, along with Gary Reasons, John Radigan with you. Well, actually, this is going to be a lot of momentum here for the SMU football team. You're going to take a look and watch the throw here in the corner of the end zone and the catch by Rushbrook, bringing it in with his left hand. Penalty on the play would have been pass interference, but nonetheless, it's a touchdown for SMU, and they are going for two points. Interesting play there. We'll take a look at it after the kick, but uh, was he or was he not in the end zone? Morrency and Jones, the deep man, McMurtry to kick it off. There is Morrency for OSU. And McMurtry. Morrency from the four. Bounced off a man near the 25. And driven out of bounds at the 26-yard line. A flag is thrown. Well, we're going to take a look back at the two-point attempt here. You see here the pitch. Then the quarterback, Wallace, just going to try to not throw it in the end zone, but try to dive in. Watch, he's going to put two hands as he go to the inside of the pylon. Nope, he's knocked out just outside. I think that's a good call the by the officials. Block in the back by the receiving team. Ten yards, yeah. spot of the foul. First. Yeah. Well, something good happens also for the Mustangs on the, on the kick return. Going to move them back a little bit further. Go, Mustangs! Well, as we wonder and we wait, Gary, Rashawn Woods has six touchdown receptions. He has tied an NCAA record that was set by Tim Delaney of San Diego State in 1969. Mike Gundy, offensive coordinator from OSU, was up in the press box visiting with some of the media people here at halftime. And so I'm sure the point is that Les Miles has been made well aware that he's got the opportunity to break an NCAA record. Plus, he's in the game. First and 10 on the 12. Fields. Complete.
to Dewan Woods at the 34 yard line. And Fields is, I mean, he's the supporting actor in this, if you will, because he too, though, he's thrown six touchdown passes. That is an OSU record that he tied of his own set against Kansas last year. And one of the things that uh, Josh Fields has not had to contend with, there's not really been much of a rush in his face. I'm not sure that his jersey has touched the grass at all tonight. I'm not sure he's been knocked down. The they Woods family, well, you got Rashawn, you got Dewan, who is a heck of a wideout, and then Donovan, who might be redshirted as a quarterback. Flag, no flag here, I beg your pardon. Looking for De Dewan Woods as Humphrey was covering on the plate. Now take a look here, and they have a big, I don't want to say dilemma, it's a pleasant problem, Gary, and what to do with Donovan Woods? Talented quarterback, a young guy that they think the world of at the quarterback position. Currently listed as two, maybe three on the depth chart. Haven't had him in a football game yet this season, but there's a lot of speculation that they might get that young man in there. He's too talented of a player not to play, but I tell you, they'd love to have him for four good, strong years, especially if Josh Fields can hold up the remainder of the season. Second and 10 from the 33. A draw play going out to the 38-yard line. Pick up a five as Seymour Shaw, who ran for 107 yards against Southwest Missouri last week, gets the carry. And... There is Donovan Woods, and a lot of talk, and Les Miles is like a poker game. <laughs> no, he said, hey, we may have a series of plays because he is a, a more run-pass option, right? Yeah, there really is. He's we we could design a series there. of plays to put him into specifically run every game, but he goes, he isn't going to play till he's ready, and they claim he's not ready. Third five of the 38. And it is incomplete. Intended for Charlie Johnson, the tight end near the 45-yard line. Now, we talked about the Woods brothers. You know, there's Rashawn, Dewan, Donovan. There's actually another Woods brother, Bill. And they named him after you. Oh, that's amazing. Gary. That's my name, Gary. This doesn't sound right with all no, of them. He's the eldest of the, of, the, of the Woods family brothers. Take a look here at the throw, and oh, that's a good breakup. Good job by the Mustangs on defense coming up, making a play. D.D. Johnson covering on that play. Fourth and five, and Farden punts it away. Out of bounds. I'm going to mark it at the 13-yard line. So, heck of a punt for Farden, 49 yards. And then the and Mustang defense does their job once again. They stop yeah. that uh, Cowboy offense, get your offense back out there on the field. And, you know, that's kind of what Phil uh, Bennett was talking about. He challenged his football team at halftime. Hey, you've either got to fight or give up. You know, I think they've chosen to fight and done a good job putting one score on the board and your defense responds and have a chance to go out there and do it again. Les Miles, who spent a few years here as an assistant coach with the Dallas Cowboys, certainly uh, enjoys coming down to Texas and enjoying it tonight with the effort his ball club has put forth. Meanwhile, Phil Bennett, just his second year here, just looking for positives with this SMU bunch and a young team to try to see if they can grow from this. First and 10, the handoff Kincaid trying to go wide. They string it out and in on the play. OSU. Yeah, that was nice Jeremy Nathan, the yeah. safety coming through here. He's going to knife through and make the play in the slot. You're going to see Kincaid run up here, and then the safety come through and make a nice tackle on the outside. Good job there of just reading your keys and coming up and making the tackle. Number 19, Ethan on the outside. It's a good wrap up on the tailback. Second down. And seven ball on the 16. The intended receiver, incomplete. Going to be third and seven coming up for the ponies. Vernon Grant covering. Yeah, trying to get the rocket into the, excuse me, the comet into the offense. Chris Cunningham, and a big player for this offense over the years. Cunningham, the senior receiver, really hasn't got on track tonight. Hasn't got him involved. And Wallace, not doing too badly. Had five, six completions on the evening, and got the one touchdown to his credit. Well, an SMU in their last scoring drive, Gary, more than tripled the 33 total yards that it had at halftime. Now with 115 total yards for the game. So there's been progress. Third and seven. Wallace going in the air. What a catch. And incredible. Brought down at the 45-yard line. Making the 46. Rushbrook, who had the touchdown reception, makes a 
another superb catch. Now the sideline for Oklahoma State, the coaches are adamant that he didn't catch the football. But Rushbrook lays out nicely, and I tell you, this is one heck of an effort. He looks like he's holding himself coming off the field, but Rushbrook going to run down the sideline. He's going to run this just quick little route here, and the quarterback's going to toss it out there to him, and Rushbrook not able Kind of went to the other side of the field on our on our replay there, but uh, that was an excellent effort by Rushbrook, doing a good job coming up with a big play. Whether he got it or not, he gets credit for it, and SMU certainly happy for the case. First and ten at the 45. Massey turns it up across the 45 down to the 43-yard line. Well, there was a collision and a chase behind on the backfield. Before when Massey turned the corner, I tell you, there was a player who got blocked behind the line of scrimmage and it was low. And, well, I hope that there he's OK coming up. That's Smith. He was tracing from the backside and he was really running full speed and a player was just knocked down and he tripped right over him. And good to see Cream Smith come back, pop back up so quickly. Second down and eight for SMU. Smith. Walking a little gingerly to the sideline. 7.35 to go third quarter. Fox Sports Net bringing you SMU football with the Ponies and Oklahoma State. Cowboys 38-0 halftime leaders, 45-6 at the moment. Massey in the backfield, Wallace to throw. Ransom picks it off. Jamar Ransom, a flag is thrown. He's a sophomore from El Paso. Take a look here. You're going to see it on the right side of your screen. Watch number 44 get back into his zone right there and doing a good job of just coming underneath the throw. He steps out of bounds right back there and they're blowing the whistle and gets out. We're going to see the penalty here. You're going to come in and hit him late. That's the quarterback throwing a little bit of frustration there and just have to have a little bit more poise in that situation. Wallace, his first action this year, we told you last year he struggled with the three touchdowns to ten interceptions and gets the pick here that is the second of the night for Oklahoma State. Williams had one earlier, Durant Williams. Fields. Looking deep. Drops this one off to Johnson now. And a flag is thrown. Probably a hold. Dave Wallace talking it over with the coaches up top. First and 23 now, the ball on the 36-yard line. Tatum Bell. Bell stopped at the 38-yard line. D.D. Johnson. Good acceleration by Johnson to get uh, Bell on the sweep play. For 38, scrapes down the, the line of scrimmage very nicely. There's Tatum Bell. Johnson making the tackle on him there. Bell, we mentioned a career high 215 against Wyoming two weeks ago, 143 against Southwest Missouri last week. And still rooting for the ponies. Bell tonight, 14 carries, 46 yards. Fields going deep for you know who. And Woods, an incredible reception made inside the 15 yard. Rashawn Woods blanketed by Rutledge and Harris. It makes no difference. Bill, I thought that Jonas Rutledge almost caught this football himself. Take a look on the left side of your screen. You're going to see number three come into the picture along with Rashawn Woods, 82. Take a look if, no, if Jonas doesn't catch his ball first. No, he doesn't. Good job by Rashawn Woods concentrating on the football. He and Josh Fields, they just have a way to make things happen in the game and just an uncanny ability to catch the football. All right, he comes out wide left. It's first and 10 of the 13, going for an NCAA record, seventh touchdown reception. They pitch instead to Shaw, and Shaw runs it to the 11-yard line. Was that to just give Woods a breather? Could be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you got to throw it to him at this point, don't you? Well, if they're aware of the record, that's what they're really trying to get. Perhaps they do, but... Uh, you know, that's what they do in this offense. They're a big play offense. They throw the football. They use play action. That's what everything is based off of. The one thing we haven't seen tonight is a big, big running game, running attack. We haven't, they haven't had to see it because the passing has just been excellent from uh, 
Josh Fields to Rashawn Woods. Now Rashawn goes wide right to the top of the screen, and he's got an isolation one-on-one -on -one right there. With Rutledge, second and eight from the 11-yard line. Josh Fields. Going to throw it up for Woods. Does he get the record? Oh, my, he does! Seven touchdown receptions. A new NCAA mark. Incredible. Fields to Woods for the seventh time tonight. Well, I don't know if Josh Fields has records under his belt. Seven touchdown passes and to the same receiver in a game. That is amazing. And Rashawn Woods just comes down with another one. His ability to adjust on the football, wherever it's thrown, over his head, short, inside and outside, Rashawn Woods has made the play. Les, Les Miles congratulating his big-time receiver. And Rashawn Woods. He is great as easy on the field. He is a graceful, just neat young man off the field that certainly gives credit to his teammates. And here's the record breaker. No doubt about it. You got Jonas Rutledge inside. The ball is thrown perfectly to the outside. You have enough space to work with in the end zone. That's well designed by Mike Gundy. He knows he's got a big time receiver. Give him some room to work with. And I tell you, this young man doesn't disappoint. You see the separation he gets there? Just a slight little bump there. He doesn't push off with his hand. He just got great body lean. He leans inside and then works to the outside away where the ball is going. No one can catch it but Rashawn Woods on that outside move. And Rashawn Woods, his NCAA record seventh touchdown reception tonight. Over half his catches have been in the end zone. 232 yards receiving and Woods his best receiving night certainly by far and take a look at what he's done year by year and updated with what he's done so far there on the bottom in 03. Wow we got the nine touchdowns already here in this season in his third game of the year Bill. 52 to nothing. Kickoff out of the end zone. Well, last year, his biggest games number-wise, he had 12 receptions for 226 yards against Oklahoma and had three scores in that game. He had 11 receptions for 134 against Nebraska, the big win over the Huskers. And he's had double-digit reception nights as a sophomore three times. Three times last year, his first this year, and the record seven touchdown grabs. And SMU back to work, trailing 52 to six. Massey stumbled after getting the football, got a yard or so. Second and eight after a pickup of two. They're at the 22-yard line. Well, I think that the Mustangs offensively got a little, little bit of balance now. They've run the football. They've thrown the ball a little, little bit better than they did in the first half. Tate Wallace seems to be settled down and running the show out there for that Mustang offense. You, know, you didn't have any production on first and second down early in this football game that put them in tough situations. And now here in the second half, they made a few adjustments at halftime, and Wallace seems to be a little more confident out there. Second and eight, and on the carry, Massey again for the Ponies. Out to the 26, maybe the 27-yard line. Well, I kind of like this, too. Run the, run the football. Don't try to put all the pressure on the quarterback. What are the chances of you throwing up a bunch of a bunch of throws here and getting on getting back in this football game with scores throwing the football? Probably not likely. You've got a very talented Oklahoma State defense, and that's just going to get you into more trouble. But settle down here and make some plays offensively, run the ball, and set up third manageable situations, which they're in here. Third and three, where you can go run or throw. Massey on the run got tripped up near the line and the heat came on and the reinforcements. Well, we talked about the talent on the defensive side of the ball. There's no doubt about it. Oklahoma State has got the makings of a good football team defensively. They're led by their defensive ends. That's the strength of their team with Antonio Smith and Greg Richmond. The younger players inside, Clay Coe, Kyle Hicks, and Brad Gertman getting some, getting some time in there. They've got to improve. And the secondary, I think, that is pretty solid. So overall, 
Oklahoma State is a, it's one of the better defenses in the Big 12 de uh, conference. Paul Dern is the one that tracked it or tripped him up that time and brings on a punting situation here on fourth and four. And Mensel gets it off. They get away from it now and it takes an SMU bounce as Williams gets away. It goes all the way down to the 25 yard line of Oklahoma State University. So the Cowboys on a 50 yard punt from SMU will take over and now you wonder is Rashawn Woods done for the night? And let's find out more. Let's go down to John Radigan, who's down near the OSU band. Yeah, I tell you what, Bill, the Oklahoma State fans have had a lot to cheer about. But you know what? Three cheers to the Oklahoma State fans. They had 4,000 tickets allotted to them. They sold all those in no time and got almost 10,000 more. A sea of orange. You know, over at Jones Stadium, or now Boone Pickens Stadium in Oklahoma State, they have a, a slogan, a sign all over the place that says, They have come out strong here, and of course last year they went down to the Houston Bowl, were successful against Southern Mississippi, and back in the bowl business, and a great year, and after winning six of their last seven, carried a lot of momentum into this season. And Josh Fields, who's thrown an OSU record seven touchdown passes, gets a break now as Beagley is on to replace him. Jamie, another Texan from Midland. It off as gold in the lineup getting the carry that time. Nabufi makes the tackle. Greg Gold, his first reception, and Beagley, 6 1 freshman from Midland. And we saw him some in the Wyoming game. And he's a guy that uh, had the advantage of spring practice and being around a year, redshirt freshman. And right now, if anything should happen to Fields, he would have to be the guy. That, that is kind of the dilemma that there's no question that he is ahead of Donovan Woods. But then you look long term and you always know you're rolling the dice every time Josh Fields go out there, he, he may get clocked. Well, this is a situation where I think that Les Miles really needs to use a game like this. He's got a whole quarter and, a, and another minute and 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter to develop and get some playing time for young quarterbacks. We saw the Wyoming game where he put uh, Beagley out there for a couple of series and then he pulled him off and put Josh Fields back in the football game. That was a little bit strange and but I think he needs to really develop some time and some uh, some reps. You can't substitute reps in a game in practice. There's no way to do that. And this is a good opportunity for those guys to be out there. Pardon on the punt fourth and five from his 30 gets another good boomer and a roll and Rushbrook stays away from it. SMU will get it from the 22. Well, lucky seven for Fields to Woods tonight. No doubt about it, this young man has been exceptional. Rashawn Woods, and I tell you, it takes a young man to be able to throw the football. Josh Fields, those two have hooked up for a couple of years now, Bill. It has been a splendid opportunity to watch these two young men throw this football. And tonight, to come up with a record seven touchdowns, albeit against an SMU team, a defense that is a real young and a growing defense, it is still a tremendous accomplishment. Those two have gone on time and time again throwing the football the timing the uh, the precision passing which has been exceptional for Oklahoma State and Sean Woods just absolutely amazing and then the record setter number seven Wow Sean Woods, seven touchdown receptions, a new NCAA record. The guy throwing them, Josh Fields, got the ball cap on, 17 of 27 for 265 yards, and pump his numbers up a little bit too, as he had come in with five picks and two touchdowns. Well, he just gets a school record. Rashawn gets an NCAA <laughs> record, but both both young men are to be complimented on an excellent effort out on this football field tonight. <laughs> I'm going to have to measure this bill. Looks like it's going to be almost a first down here for SMU. Yeah, they're going to wave it ahead as a first down. Oklahoma State players going over to pay homage to the fans. Around 10,000 strong that 
came here to support them from the OSU side here in Dallas. And boy, did the Cowboys put on a show. 52-6 over SMU and the Ponies home opener was ruined early and often by the fields to woods combination that hooked up for seven touchdown passes tonight. Bill Land, Gary Reasons, John Radigan with you here in Dallas as Oklahoma State continues to show improvement each time out, Gary. Well, Les Miles has got this program on track. He's been his third year, I think, of their really resurgence of what they've been able to do and do it really well. Some excellent talent, I think, on, on both sides of the ball for Oklahoma State. And Phil Bennett with his young team, remember, they've got a lot of young players. 41 of their 79 scholarships are redshirt freshmen or true freshmen on that football team. So a lot of youth movement at SMU, and they're trying to get things turned around. But I think Les Miles and company at Oklahoma State have got things going. They want to have a really spectacular year. And certainly after the loss to Nebraska in Big 12 play to open the season, they've rebounded nicely with the victories they've put together the last couple of weeks with Wyoming and Southwest Missouri State and then tonight here in Dallas against SMU from the WAC. And next up, they meet University of Louisiana Lafayette and SMU. Got to draw something from this and say, all right, what did we learn and realize that Next week, it's Nevada. It's a little bit different level of competition. You know, this is one of those tapes that you choose whether to show it to the players or not show it to the players. And I think they're going to show some of the key plays and some of the key mistakes that they made so they'll learn from those so that SMU perhaps defensively won't make those. And offensively, they've got to have better production. There's no doubt about it. They've got to be able to move the ball, run it. And I think when they match up with their WAC competition, they're probably going to be a little better suited uh, in this, you know, for their football team. Well, the last non-conference road win for Oklahoma State was in two. 2000 when they won at Tulsa 36 26 they beat up on their whack brother SMU tonight and Les Miles is standing by with our John Radigan. All right Bill thank you very much Les Miles uh, we talked at halftime you said hey we're going to keep playing hard and it looked like your team really did play hard in the second half. Well I, I was really proud of the guys we substituted they came in they played with great intensity got some young guys a lot of snaps it was a good second half. Did you know Rashawn was going for a record did you know seven touchdown receptions in a game was an NCAA record? Yes we did know that and uh, and we're thrilled for him and Josh fields that's a that's a very uh, uh, distinctive record one he'll cherish for a long time I'm certain and that's one of the things you do for your kids I mean the kid that shows support for you you got to show some 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 love well at, at halftime we realized he was too shy of the all-time one shy to tie and if you know the game dictated that we should continue to throw the football and it did you know he was going to get the ball and so we we're we we're thrilled that we we're able to do that for him so you came through pretty nicely after the Nebraska game. You rebounded nicely with three pretty good wins, didn't you? Well, we're getting better, and it's not perfect. This, you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna be mad at uh, some things and, and feel like we didn't execute just quite like we needed to, and and uh, we'll uh, take the win, count three, and then go forward to fix things. That's great, Les. We appreciate Thank it. You, Congratulations. It's nice to be on Fox. I Always can tell you that. nice to have you on here. That's Les Miles. We are looking for Rashawn Woods. He is headed this way, so maybe we'll just keep it here as the guy who had a NCAA record seven touchdown reception is headed our way. Rashawn Woods, Coach Les Miles told us, Rashawn, that at halftime you kind of realized, hey, we're only two away from a record, one away from tying it. So obviously you came out with a purpose in the second half, didn't you? Yeah. Coach Miles came to me and said, uh, great first half. You ready to do it again? And I was like, yeah, I'll do whatever I need to do, Coach. And uh, he kept me in and got the record. Is the record important to you? Do you has it sort of sunken in yet? Seven touchdown catches and one. Game. Hey, it's truly a blessing. I can't say I came out here to say, oh, I'm, I want to get the record today. You know, I really didn't think about it. I didn't know about the record. But at the same time, it's truly a blessing. I'm very thankful. You had early a couple of very uncharacteristic drops. Did that um, sort of make you focus a little bit more after that? Because it didn't seem like you dropped anything after that. Yeah, I, I got off to a rough start. But at the same time, uh, you're going to have days like that. You know, no matter who you are, uh, no matter how many balls you catch consistently, there are going to be days where you're going to drop a few. And uh, in that, you just have to realize that, hey, 
uh, it's going to happen, and you just got to come out and uh, do better next time. And, of course, you don't do it alone. Jo the line blocks well, and exactly. Josh Fields got it to you, didn't he? Uh, I told the offensive line at halftime that anything that I do is just in, in product of how well you give uh, Josh Fields time, and they did a tremendous job. Uh, I mean, I, I'm probably going to take them out. Of it. I got to do something for them because, yeah. I mean, this I mean, is a tremendous improvement from uh, the, the start of the year to now. It's tremendous. The coach and everybody doing a great job, and, it, it, it was shown today. Well, you are too, Rashawn. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Congratulations on the NCAA record. That's Rashawn Woods. We are headed to break, but when we come back, we will wrap things up from Gerald J. Ford Stadium on the campus of SMU.